Happy gentlemen, the difference between black tie and white tie. If black and white tie dress codes got you feeling a little bit like a confused penguin, the hell is this? Then you're in the right place. We're happy gentlemen, and in this video, we'll give you a quick rundown of what defines black and white tie events, how they differ, and how to make sure you look dapper for a range of dress codes from dinners to diplomatic events. There's a likelihood coming into this video that you've never heard of a white tie event and think that black tie is the peak of formality. Don't worry, you're not alone. In standard dress codes for events, black tie is the most formal and is usually appropriate for events such as weddings, proms, and formal dinners. White tie, on the other hand, is usually reserved for the most formal of events, such as state dinners, royal events, and diplomatic events too. For black tie, you should choose a well-fitted black or dark colored suit white dress shirt, black dress shoes, and a black bow tie. You can really elevate your outfit's formality with a waistcoat or cummerbund and accessories such as cufflinks and a pocket square. For white tie events, such as the name suggests, you should wear a white bow tie, pair this with a white wing collared shirt, formal black shoes, black trousers, and a black tailcoat. Unless you have a professional lifestyle that regularly includes white tie events, we'd suggest renting one. Because it is a rental, we would suggest taking your measurements and visiting a store in person, as this will allow the clerk to help you find one that fits you well. As we've not covered tails before, or how to ensure how they fit well, we'll go into more detail so that in your store visit doesn't go into a tailspin. The tailcoat should be black and well fitted as normal in the chest, back and arm areas too. It should have peach lapel and long tails that finish level with the backs of your knees. Unlike in the old cartoons, it shouldn't finish trailing on the floor behind you. <laughs> Unlike normal suit jackets that finish around the palm, the front of the waistcoat should finish or taper from the waistline or around belly button height. Most importantly, remember while formal, the suit shouldn't be uncomfortable or restrict movement. Now you know that the events are true to their names. Black tie needs a black bow tie, and white tie needs a white bow tie. But unlike martial arts, in formal events, the black tie is lower than the white tie, and you need to make sure that your tail's tailor has your back, all the way down to your knees. Thank you for watching, and you can check the description box for more details and links to suits and accessories. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more men's suit and style tips. That's all from us today, and we'll see you on the next one.